but we're gonna let him do it and then we'll put it back for her. Okay, just let you do it and then we'll put it back and let sister do it. What number are we opening? Three. Three. Go ahead. Oh, what's that one? Looks like a big one. Let's see. Oh, it's another one with a little Christmas hat. And it's Chip and that's Dale. No, it's okay. We'll open it later, okay? Can you put it back now and the sister will open it later? <laughs> Good job. Cool. High five. And two one is almost done. Two one and it's almost done, you're right. Phoenix. Where's sister? Where is she? Where is she? It's sleeping. Sister sleeping, yeah, because she had mommy up all night. Right? Yes. yes. So it's just you and me waiting for the bus. Waiting for the school bus. School bus. School bus. Waiting for the school bus. What day is today? It's Day. 25. 25 is Christmas. Today is 22, I think. It's 22. Yeah. And on 25, it's Christmas. It's cold out there. Right? 2016, almost 2017. You're right. It is almost Never 2017. Never will we do 2017, please. <laughs> It's almost 2017. Yeah. It's gonna be a new year. We're gonna say, I like it, mommy. You like it, baby? Yes, this is so Red, orange, yellow, green, red, blue. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Is that a pattern? Is that a pattern? Yes. yes. Red, red, yellow, yellow. Red, red, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, blue. What is that? A powder. Good job. <laughs> is the bus here? It's not a powder, It's not a powder, mommy. <laughs> You're so silly. Come here. Look. Okay, she's so asleep. Phoenix is on the bus. We'll see how long I have to lay down since she had me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Down until she wakes up. We're driving at home and she sees all these uh, decorations and she keeps pointing them out. Look, what do you see? Oh, you see a ho ho ho? You see another one? You saw another one? Did you? Did we just see all? We saw two Olafs. Yeah. And one ho-ho-ho. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a reindeer over there. Yeah. You saw another one? <laughs> another one? You're so cute, you know that? Yes. Yes? Maybe we should drive by more and see some at night. It'll be very nice. You want to see them at night with Bubber? So she woke up at nine ish nine it was early night good so i got a little bit of a nap so i feel okay and um you see a mickey mouse and i see a ho 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 and um it's 10 30 now so we're heading home and then yeah baby oh i see the mrs claus and mr claus and then phoenix come i have to wash clothes and stuff but oh yeah Good job. Mickey Mouse. It's Mickey Mouse. I don't see Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, Mickey Mouse is all the way over there. I wonder if that's the one you're talking about. Hmm, maybe. Maybe she has good eyes. I think it's so adorable that the kids look for each other when the other one's not around. When Avery woke up this morning and I went to get her, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> She's 
so silly. She just opened the fridge, got a bottle of water, brought me her empty cup, and said, here, Mom, like, so I can put the water in the cup for her, because her cup finished the water. <laughs> He's so silly. Anyway, so she's like, Robert, where are you? And she's, like, so concerned for him. And then I did the advent calendar with her. I was talking to my friend on the phone, so I didn't record it. But, um... She was excited about it. Even though we did it already with Phoenix, but um and then this morning Phoenix kept saying, Sister's missing, sister's missing. She's sleeping. Like <laughs> like they're gonna be really happy to see they're always really happy to see each other when it's like out of the norm. Like she she normally wakes up and he's there and he normally is down here ready to go to school with her. So it's like whenever the other one's missing, the, they notice and they're like just like the other day when she was napping and he got home and then when she woke up it was like oh hi like it's just i love their bond and i pray and hope that it always stays super close i know they'll have their issues like every siblings do but i hope that at least they're always there for each other it's what yeah. so we have about 15 minutes before 11 and then phoenix gets here like 11 15 ish around there and i have to wash clothes which maybe i should go I should go um, start that now that only one of them is here because the other day John took Phoenix down through the basement to to leave because his car was parked out back Hi, guys. <laughs> and, Hi, guys. okay and he saw all the presents he's like oh presents John forgot they were down there so now he keeps telling me mommy presents downstairs and I'm like there's no presents downstairs and Avery saw them the other day when I was throwing out the trash with her, but she was just like, like she was a little confused. She wasn't really sure. You singing? Go sing. Your hair is a mess. So you had your hat on. Your hat's over there by your coat that you don't want to wear. So yeah, today is just gonna be a relaxing day. Okay. We've had a lot of relaxing days actually. I haven't really been out and about running errands and stuff because it is crazy in these stores lately. I don't want to go anywhere near any store with the kids right now until next year because unless I'm, uh, um, except for Mondays when I go food shopping, that's different, but. It's this Monday coming up. Phoenix doesn't have school, but John's off. So I can go by myself. Oh. I'm my baby. Oh, your mommy's baby? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Are you mommy's baby or daddy's baby? Daddy's baby. <gasps> mommy's baby or daddy's baby? Daddy's baby. <gasps> daddy's baby or mommy's baby? Daddy's baby. <gasps> Look, get off of me. No, get off! Get off! <laughs> get off! Yeah, get off me! <laughs> so it's here, the last Christmas gift for the kids. Well, this is a Christmas Eve gift, but how cute is this? Look. Oh, I love it. And then the little teddy and the little dinosaur, they both love them because Peppa always has her teddy and George always has his dinosaur, so I loved it. And then the green cup it's good for phoenix i mean he can use a pink one but you know i just thought it was just so cute so i have to wrap that and then wrap two other things and i'm done wrapping yes oh and then this is the table the legs are still not screwed in but this is how the table looks i bought this bike bag hopefully it'll fit on it if not that's fine um and then you guys kind of saw that yesterday but that's how it looks all covered and everything so we can use the top as a table to do stuff or they could put their other train tracks on there and stuff like that but john has to screw in the legs and it is a mess down here i can't wait to after christmas so that i can clean down here really good so, I'm put the clothes in the dryer. so i'm sitting here and both kids are on the potty i can't show you them because they both have their shirts off Avery was having an issue with her sleep and she was just like, I just took it off because it's almost bedtime. But anyway, I don't know why this thought just came into my head. Oh, that one! We gotta buy it at the store or ask Santa. Um, why this thought just came into my head, but I'm sitting here. I just gave them um, dinner 
and I'm sitting here with them talking and stuff and I'm just thinking how it sometimes still boggles my mind that I'm in charge of two lives me and John you know but I'm with them all day so it's like their survival their uh, the like everything they depend on me for everything like two little human beings depend on me and John to survive like I don't know why I've never thought of it like that but it just came into my head this way and it just made me think of like all those parents who mostly moms who um, abandon their kids and it's like or put their kids in harmful situations um, and it's just so sad like how can you bring these human beings into this world and then they depend on you like you know, if I don't give them food at a certain time, if I don't give them water, if I don't take them a bath, like, they depend on me for everything, for their, to pick their noses when they have boogers stuck in there, you know, like, they depend on us for everything, like, to survive. They could not survive without us, until, you know, every what, mama? I don't know, her nose, I have to suction your nose out before bed, because she's going... <laughs> So, like, they depend on us for everything, like, and to think of, like, abandoning that or putting them in harmful situations where they can't care, like, they can't care for themselves, they can't do anything, like, their whole lives depend on us, and I don't know, I just never thought of it like that, and it's just crazy to think of, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I just had one of those moments where it was just, like, I'm in charge of two human beings like I'm in charge of their well-being I'm in charge of them surviving and eating and and just living like if it wasn't for me um, and for John like doing what they need to do taking care of them giving them a bath um, changing their diapers or they would not be able to you know, survive like it's just so crazy when you think of all these places that have hard things I don't know it's just sad and um, I'm just grateful and blessed that I am most of the time in my right mind able to take care of them that John supports us and is able to take care of us financially and that you know we can do it because their future and their life depends on us and it's just it's a scary thing to think of when you think of it like that because it's like you know their future depends on what we do for them now and that's that's a hard uh, thing to think about because it's like you have to make sure you're doing everything right but obviously you're not gonna do everything perfect our parents didn't and we're okay but it's just just a thought I had have you ever think of those things I don't know this is a random Luna thought so there you go my random Luna thought for the day it's almost bedtime well not really I have like 45 more minutes I'm gonna put their pajamas on get them to bed and then mama is gonna I don't have too much to do which is good the kids are in bed it didn't take too too long I wrapped the final gifts that I had and I remember I still have one more to wrap once I finish my friend's gift I also filmed a video on it I'll probably put that one up after this one before the Christmas ones start going out it's two three days today's Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday three days according to till Christmas two days until the kids get their Christmas Eve gifts yesterday today I was telling Phoenix you have to get two and then one and then zero on zero you'll get one present uh, I, I think I said one present but they'll get two presents and then um, then it's Christmas and you'll get more presents so he was like okay two one zero presents <laughs> so that's how he says it in his head. I am so excited for Christmas morning like uh, I can't wait there might be an overload of footage because I don't want to miss not one moment like I'm trying to make sure I delete everything on my phone and have my camera charges in case because I want to capture every moment that day anyways I'm here finishing this up then I have to go fold some laundry John is on his way home now from school he had a test tonight and that's gonna be it for us today so I hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye